Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about all the methods that are available in JavaScript. These methods are prominently used again and again and almost every kind of work that we do with the JavaScript. So, I am going to explain you with all the data type and the method which are associated with it, right? So, starting from the string, uh, let's say that a string is hello JavaScript like this. So, uh, the first is length. Well, it is used to get the length, right? So, you just need to write str.length. Similarly, that to uppercase to convert it into like this, uppercase. Similarly, the lowercase is there like this, right? Now, includes, it check that whether that particular uh, text that you have written is present or not. So, yeah, it is present. Index of to get the index value of that particular uh, word that you are you are searching right the slice it is one of the most important slice is here we have a start and end when we write str dot slice right and then uh, starting and the end right so it will do what it will take out like a start from the zero and then calculate one two three four five and it will take out that letter for you right now after a slice sub string sub string does same right and the replace the replace is there you can see we can replace the javascript with the world then it will convert it like this so str dot replace the split to split like uh, on the basis of this particular gap that you give inside of it right if you write any letter here on the basis of that letter it will split that particular uh, word right so yeah uh, and if you don't give any space here just keep it blank in that particular case every letter inside of the word right got split it and now trim for the trim it will trim that particular string that means the extra spaces that are present uh, into like this got it yeah ex remove the extra spaces from left and right now start with str dot start with hello right so it like it is used to uh, get the boolean value and check that whether this condition is uh, working or not that means the word you kept inside it starts right from there the word starts from there and similarly ends with is to check that whether it ends with that or not now caret caret is used to check that whatever what the character is present at the index right so if i write one so at one you can see it. e is present h is zero e is one right so yeah, like this after that repeat the repeat is doing what it is actually used to repeat all the word that we have written at that particular number right so h i dot repeat three so it will repeat it for the three times h i h i h and h i h right now coming to the arrays well in arrays you can simply use a push like there is a push method so it is used to push uh, a new number to the array at the end pop is used to delete or remove that particular last element just keep remember that last element is used to remove right shift well shift removes the first element and unshift we use to uh, add zero at the start well it sorry add the number at the start right so uh, shift and unshift is one of the most asked question shift is used to remove the first element pop is used to remove the last element and unshift is used to add a number at the start and push is used to add a number at the end right so this is what uh, you need to remember now after that we are having a splice a splice removes the element right so first we write the number that we want to remove and after that means the index index of the number that we want to remove and after that how many numbers afterwards so if you write two here so it will remove uh, two numbers from index number two right so after that we have slice to so ar dot slice one comma three it will take out that particular element from the list array sorry concat is used to concat the other array with this particular array that is arr right as you can see here the five six got concatenated right now join what this join method does basically it joins uh, whatever you write inside of it is get uh, take first take all the element of the array and join them with that particular uh, word or text that you put inside right or symbol also index is used index of is used method to uh, index of method is used to take out the index value of that particular element that you put inside of it right includes checks that whether that element is present or not it will give a boolean value that is true or false 
map is used basically it is one of the most important map filter and reduce i have also already made a video on it map reduces an another array and uh, it uh, performs iteration on all the elements that are present inside the array and whatever the calculation or the kind of code that you want to run filter is used to filtering out that particular element from the given condition right and reduce it gives the single value it uses the accumulator and the current value inside of its function and based on that it takes all the element of the array and gives a single value in the return right and then we use the fight find function is it is used to find the particular element in the array that where it is present right and uh, find index is used to find the index value of that element right every every is used as a boolean right so arr dot every and x x greater than zero it will give you true because it is present on every then some the reverse reverse is used to just reverse the uh, array right sort is used to just sort the array on the basis of condition like a comma b at b minus a right that means it is descending order now flat and at right so flat is used to basically flatten the array right and uh, at is used to uh, see that element is at uh, like this particular element is present where so it will give the last element now coming to the object it will give object dot key so yeah like this uh, we can find that particular key right now object dot value object at value instead of this obj that means it will give like this entries assign has own property delete removes the age right key basically delete will they like here del delete object dot age so it will remove that particular age key from the object right now object dot freeze it will prevent prevent the modification that means you cannot do any changes for the object dot seal allow value allows the value change but not adding or removing keys means you can do it with the value but cannot do anything with the keys right and for from entries that means it converts the array like this into this object right now coming to the number uh, it is one of the most used that is too fixed so by this we fix the uh, point values like this uh, we have only two two string basically though so it will convert the number into the string right so like this uh, and then parse int parse int will convert it into the integer that is one to three here from one to three four point four five and parse float it will convert the string into the uh, number but with the floating number right 0.45 and then it is used to check that whether the given number is a num number or not a number right so it give a boolean value now is finite is used to check that whether the number is finite or not it also gives the boolean value then for the date we get the method like get full year get month get date get day right as you can see I'm, i have already provided the example right for year for date right and uh, for get day so for get day in which we get the uh, date and the day also right uh, date dot get hours to get the hour to get the minute to get the second to get the date string like this in which the day and the date is included right yeah now uh, you might have know almost everything about the math function that is uh, used to find the max value used to find the min value used to get the floor value floor value means what the lower value that is 4.7 has a lower value of 4 and the seal is for the upper value that is 4.2 is has a upper value of 5 right it will round off that means if it is greater than 5 the decimal number it means that will point to the upper number that is 5 abs that is uh, minus 5 it will convert to positive that is 5 a square root it will convert into 3 and uh, you can see the random any random value so it will generate any random value between 0 and 1 and the power pow is uh, power and it will convert uh, basically we give the first number and then the power so the power of 2 to the power 3 that is 8 right so i have covered almost every method that is used in the javascript while programming and uh, uh, creating your function and other right so you just need to revise everything at your own try to explore and read all the examples that i have given here right just pause the video and see everything and this is all for today's video i hope you understood everything very clearly if you do then make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button thank you so much for watching goodbye